viewers, subscribers, welcome back to the coach's desk with your host, Coach Minze. Yeah, people, and we're here to talk about the reggae boy Leon Bailey. Yeah, man, he had an outstanding few minutes on field, so we're just gonna delve into that a little bit. But before we get into that, people, of course, we're gonna tell you what we normally tell you, people like up the stream, like up the stream, people. Thank you very much for liking up the stream. Yeah, we appreciate it. And also, if you're new, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Yeah, really appreciate appreciating uh, the subscription that you have made so far. And of course, we appreciate you. Yeah, and uh, big up to the persons who, who, who supported the first night of the Triple Treat. Yeah, we have started out with a calling section or segment. So, of course, persons who don't want to come on the panel, you're free to always call in and for us to hear your voice. And you can share your, your ideas or your feedback on any particular topic that we're discussing. Alright, so that is out of the way. And people, just remember, just remember, the coach's desk merchandise will be coming soon. Yeah, they are coming soon, people. We can't wait until they drop and definitely we will be giving you the links and sharing where you can actually get these merchandise so looking forward to that one there people all right so let's get right into what we want to talk about leon bailey made his debut today in the premier league playing for his new club aston villa yeah man aston villa team even though they were put to the sword um, and they came out um, on the wrong end of the pitch as some per on the field as some persons will say they actually lost um, three goals to two to Watford a newly promoted team but of course everybody knows that Watford has uh, Premier League experience it's like a roller coaster for them um, they are up they are down and they are back in the Premier League uh, we know another reggae boy plays for them uh, um, Andre Gray but he should be out of the club on loan. So that where it, it stands with Andre Gray at the moment. But as I had reported before, Leon Bailey would not start in his in his Premier League debut. But I mean we know that he would have played because of being in isolation and all of these sort of stuff that he had to sort it out. He trained by himself and so forth. So I mean we weren't expecting him to start. Yeah. But when Leon Bailey came onto the field, people, after Aston Villa as, uh, were down 2 0 at half time, they were against the Swords. I mean, they, 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 this Watford team was all over um, Aston Villa. And Mark, you don't know, Aston Villa, they, this is not their. their, their, their possible lineup for the remainder of the seasons you know persons are injured um, not all the starters are, are are there they did not participate in that game you know what I mean so we are expecting a better Aston Villa side in terms of play with the first uh, more for options for first team team players definitely so I mean I'm not I'm not looking any excuse for Aston Villa because you are a big Premier League team you go up against a newbie, you should take care of business. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, that didn't happen. And um, they injected Leon Bailey in the game um, with about an hour um, gone. They, 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 they injected Leon Bailey. So he played for about 30 minutes. And he, he, he came on, he did his thing. He, he, he provided with to the team or for the team he, he, he had a little flair in, um, in his play uh, it, was, it was just a good display in my estimation from Leon Bailey very good display yeah so, so Leon Bailey would have made his mark coming on as a substitute yeah man Leon Bailey make him mark man so there's no doubt about this signing there are a lot of persons who were saying that this is a bad move for Leon Bailey. They are still saying it because Aston Villa lost. But look at the bigger picture. We know it's a team effort, but individually, Leon Bailey 
stood out. So you can't take that away from him. That's what I was saying. When you're in a, in a team that is not playing well, but on the other hand, you are doing what you have to do as a player, then it argues well for you. And that is the situation with Leon Bailey. It argues well for him in terms of how he played. Yeah? So even if Aston Villa has not um, gone off to their best start, then it still will not change the way how Leon Bailey, the Phoenix boss, will play. You know what I mean? So as, as Leon Bailey said, he's not afraid. I mean, even though they would have played against Watford, he said he's not afraid to, to shine. He's, no, he's not afraid of any tough tackles or any defenders. The man just ready for the Prem Bridge. He's ready. So um, he came on. One of the second, uh, the second substitute that was made um, for Aston Villa. He came on and he did his thing. Um, like I said, he, was, he played for 30 minutes, half an hour. Um, he did not get any goal, but I mean, to make a debut, people. And the man string a decent pass. Yeah, a decent pass for the goal. So guess what? The man created an assist, people. So you have to big up Leon Bailey for that. Yeah, this is the Leon Bailey of all that I know who plays for, uh, who used to play for um, Leverkusen. Yeah, so 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 he he had um he had a shot, but it wasn't on target. Um, but I know he, he will get that um together. He had a block shot as well. He had a block shot. Yeah, a matter of fact, Leon Bailey had a dribble attempt. And he, 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 he did it excellently. He won that dribble at him. Just run past the ball and dash him easily. Yeah? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Leon Bailey had 17 touches of the football. 17 touches. Mm -hmm. He had 17 touches. So, that, 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 that's good enough for, 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 for half an hour. Um, he had accurate passes of uh, 80%. Um, he, he, he passed 5 and he, 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 he only had about four of them accurately. So that's an 80% rate. Um, key passes that led to the goal, which is the assist. He had that as well. So big up to Leon Bailey. Um, ground duels. He had five of those. He won three. Um, he did not do any long ball. Yeah. Um, didn't have any aerial duels. He lost possession six times. So that is something that Leon Bailey would have to work on. Um, in terms of losing possession, he lost it six times. I, I'm still yet to understand um, how, 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 how they do this thing. Because if you make a pass, that's a turnover, so you lost possession. Or is it a case where somebody um, tackle you for, for a ball and, and win the ball? Yeah? But that is something we still need um, some clarity on. Um, he, he, of course, you know, Leon Bailey, the type of player he is, he was fouled. Um, he had one tackle. I mean, it, it was a creditable performance from, from Bala. No doubt about it. So we are expecting greater things for Leon Bailey. Um, definitely, he, he put in a, a very good performance. And going forward, he might take time, take time until he gets another first team. And when, when that happened, when I say first team, I mean the starting 11. And when that happened, it's just going to be all Leon Bailey. I believe Bailey is going to have a very good prem, very good Premier League season. Yeah, very good one. And uh, Ravel Morrison also people had a good game um, today. He was substituted as well. He had an assist, but you know, he came out um, on the wrong end of the the, 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 the the coin as well, where his team lost, Derby County lost. But nevertheless... I have to big up the reggae boys them and there are a lot more reggae boys who played but later on in the triple treat you'll be hearing more about that but you know we have to talk about Leon Bailey the, the poster boy for the reggae boys thanks for tuning in people big up yourself we're out <laughs>